the situation is in the Congo, the war who is going on up to now. Since January 2001, I'm not seeing my wife. The first day to me to see my wife again is today. When the war broke out in the Congo, Christine's husband was out of the country and he was denied re-entry. She and her sons went to go live in a missionary. One day when Christine went to get water in the local river, she was kidnapped and during that time she was treated brutally and suffered a lot of physical injuries that will never be repaired. I really don't remember that much. To think that something bad is going on and something like very difficult is going through my life right now. I was just young and, you know, just, I was just living through it. On 2004, November, they came to tell me, your wife, she's dead. And I have the letter, official letter. My wife, she's dead. When Christine was in the hospital recovering, a local newspaper ran a story about what happened in the Congo and they featured Jonathan and his sons that ran in the paper. Someone that Christine knew saw it and brought it back to the Congo and showed it to her. When I was in Congo, uh, without knowing where my family was, I had that hope that one day I will be with them. You see now today, my wife should be here together to live with me. So I'm very, very, very happy for that. Remembering old back memory, it's kind of like flashback pictures come into your mind and you're looking at what has happened before and, and uh, what is about happening now, and you, you can't believe it. Also, I cried, but the, the tears was the tears of joy. <laughs> I really, really thank people for my pendo because they show me their love. Since I was with them up to here to the United States, these people are really, really helped me a lot when I was in Kenya. They are very close with people who are going through their organization. <laughs> And when I found my husband and my children, that was like, that was like, oh, I have no word to say. That was amazing. 